What's up guys? This is Japoy Oi Oi Oi, a first year medical student here in the Philippines and for this video, I'm going to show to you an overview of the first year subjects in med school and the corresponding textbooks that we are using. This is just actually a guide on what to expect in first year medical school and as a first year medical student. So I hope you guys can learn something from this video. So without much further ado, let's start. The first subject that I'm going to show you is the gross anatomy. Again, depende po sa school kung anong main source or main references ang ginagamit nila. So sa school ko po, we use the more clinically oriented anatomy. Yes po, it's seven editions. So, dalawang parts po sila kasi sobrang kapal niya. So, yes. Ganito yan. Yay. So, so let me show you paano. So, ayan. 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 O, diba? O. So, sa more anatomy is like, more anatomy is like um regional anatomy. So, what do we mean by that? Others kasi is arranged in, by systems, so like digestive system, nervous system, urinary system, pero siya, as an anatomy book, it is arranged um, regionally, so more like chapter 1, head, chapter 2, upper limbs, chapter 3, abdomen, chapter 4, back, ganun. So, example, for the head, Nandun na lahat yung uh, kailangan mong matuto sa head. Like yo, the innervations, the muscles, and the arteries and veins na nagsusupply sa head mo. And of course, kasali nandun doon yung brain mo. Whereas, if sa abdomen naman, yung mga internal organs na naman ng abdomen mo. So, it's like arranged like that. So, dito are just the basic daw, pinaka-basic daw because you're just basically Wow, <laughs> basic, basically a memorizing terms daw, pero included na din dito on some of the diseases or other factors that can be easily damaged sa blue boxes na pinapakita. So, yun. More technically oriented anatomy. The next one, if you have um, anatomy leg, this is for the anatomy lab. We also have anatomy lab. So, sa anatomy lab, is doon makikita mo yung first-hand experience where the dead teaches the living. So, basically, um, first-hand experience by this dissection is the more ka mas matututo kasi your visual representation to, eh, anatomy, structures, memorization. So, the more siya mag sa yo if you're like visualizing it from the gross anatomy itself, you know, gross anatomy, the one that is visible to your eyes. So you're like learning structures. Ito naman is netters. Usually, nagagamit mo talaga siya sa laboratories pag nag... O, oh, ayan. Ayan. Pag nagmumoving exams kayo, magiging magandang reference talaga siya. Actually, lahat naman na ata, lahat ng mga students sa amin, if they don't have the physical copy of this book, they have at least a soft copy of Netters kasi so Netter kasi sobrang ganda niya. Sobrang ganda niya. It's just like, um, at last, at last lang kasi siya. Ayan. Pa. So, that's, I think, how we end sa anatomy. So the next one that is a section of anatomy is histology. Yeah. So histology is actually just a microscopic structures uh, about you know the cells and the tissues and yeah from the histology, the study of cells, cellular structures. So basically our doctors kasi preferred to have a lot of references then combine it together to have a lecture or in a powerpoint so ako just to have a kwan, just to have a reference i have a brs cell biology and histology so brs stands for board review series pero hindi talaga to siya um, recommended so i highly recommend hunkera yes 
Homkera and a lot of histology books from your from my pre-med course na you know BS biology so if you guys don't worry don't worry if you guys have don't have a background knowledge about histology or everything it's not easy your passion is stronger enough ah, charot. so another section of anatomy is na subject namin is neurobiology i know it's not neuro neuroanatomy clinical neuroanatomy so basically it focuses to your brain and spinal cord and the central nervous system and it is actually by snell the latest edition so yun po lahat ng ito sobrang ano nya lahat naman ako ng med school books heavy text so back brain sana all na ay brain yan See that? Yeah. So let's move on. Para nagka board I don't know if you're still watching this, but if you're aspiring to become a medical student, hmm, ede natin to. So the next subject that we are going to tackle is physiology. Physiology, one of my favorite subjects. Yay. Kunuhay. Ito talaga. Sobrang, sobrang tech-serving niya. Tingnan mo. Tingnan mo talaga. Ayan. Ayan. So, basically, physiology is the function of the structures that we've discussed kanina. So, like, sa heart, o oh, alam mo ng anatomical parts ng heart, then al dapat alam mo din yung physiological function ng heart. Useless na naman daw talaga if you know the structure but not the function. Char, sabi yung doc. So yan guys, it's really nice to read. Pero ang haba niya. Kaya minsan, kaya minsan, nakakatulog talaga ako while nagbabasa sa kanya. Because, and some are still like, not familiar to me. Like, it's all Greek. Pero wala kang choice. So you have to learn it by heart. So yan. So, our physiology book is based on Gaitan and Hall. Gaitan and Hall. So, yeah. Let's, let's move to another subject. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys that um, this physiology and biochemistry is meron din kaming lab, lab, laboratory. So, usually nangyayari dun sa laboratory is if it's not experiment, like how to take ECG or how to, you know, the basic how to get your blood pressure and cases. So, we discussed kami ng cases like, um, tawag namin sa kanya case presentation whereas, my reporter and my case na it represent like diabetes mellitus or it, and such like that dyslipidemia mga ganun and we have to you know share our knowledge and discuss about the disease about the case so for the next subject we have the biochemistry yeah For the biochemistry, we use actually the leaping pot. This is the this is the dummy dummy for biochemistry. Like if biochemistry for dummy, dao sabi nila. But it's I don't actually read leaping uh, leaping cut. Yeah, lahat lang processes ng sa cellular processes mo magigita mo dito. It's like a cascade of pathways and. It's really fun to learn with, especially if you have mnemonics. It's really fun to learn with. So, I don't use dipping cut, but I'm more like of a Leninger, but I don't have a physical copy of Leninger. I have it on my iPad. And Harper. Harper's biochemist, illustrated biochemistry, which is very nice. Sobrang nice. Yeah, because I don't know why I love the book. 
the first few pages, I don't like it at all because like, ish, ano ba to? But then you realize, once you read The Leaping Cut, then the next read mo is uh, Leninger, then after a while, you read mo uh, Harper's, mas ma-appreciate mo yung biochemistry. So, yun! Other subjects that are being taught to us, though some of it are semestral, are like the PDR or patient-doctor relationship, the preventive care medicine, and yeah, preventive care medicine is somewhat like biostatistics. So if you're thinking that medicine has well, I'm not ang medicine, no, you're wrong because we have some biostatistics like the preventive care medicine. But it's the basic, don't worry. And the uh, ano ba ba? parasitology, yeah, we have parasitology, which is the first as a semester subject, first year, first sem, and it was yikes. First week, pa lang, it's like, huh. Ito ba yung med school? But if you really, I admire everyone who entered med school. Like, this is not for the weak. If you have to show to yourself that you deserve it, you have to be courageous all the time. And though there are things na sometimes that you get too tired, kung saan ba to, you just have to look back to why you started this journey. And I guess that's it for my video. So I hope you guys have learned something. And to all aspiring med students out there, just take the risk. When you mawawala, you miss 100% of the shot if you didn't take any. So yeah, I hope you're gonna make it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I'm making any sense right here.